Hello and welcome back to the Houston Texans franchise. We're on the road taking on the division leading Tennessee Titans. We're going to have to slow down Derrick Henry if we want any chance of winning this one. We're also going to have to put up some points. Davis Mills and the rest of the offense will be tasked with doing that. There are stats so far in his short amount of playing time. Bill Polinsky is going to get the carry on first and 10 from their own 25. And he has a good gain of 14 yards up to the 39. Another handoff. This time it's David Johnson. It's gain of two. Second and seven. Play action fake. Mills looking down the field. He has an open man. It's Nico Collins in a 19 as he's out of bounds at the 39 of the Titans. And off to Samuels on second and nine. Gain of 11 here as he's up to the 27. Mills looking to throw. Setting up a screen pass. And this is intercepted. And it's going to be returned for a couple of yards. Mills just forcing one. Wasn't really there. I mean, if it somehow got through, it would have probably been a touchdown. Now the Titans are taking over. Their own 37. Back to throw Tannehill. Surveying the field. His he throws and lofts it up. It's tipped. And this is intercepted. That's Jimmy Moreland. Now the Titans turn it right back over the Texans. I just... Weird start to the game already. We will take it. And as you can see, pressure from Lynch there. And Reed just tips it up in the air long enough for Moreland to come down with it. So let's try this again. Hand off to David Johnson. He breaks a tackle as a gain of six. From the 41, Mills throwing underneath. That's Brevin Jordan. He runs through a defender and is brought down at midfield. First and 10. Mills surveying the field. And he's going to be hit as he throws. Falls incomplete. Lucky for the Texans. Second and 10. Mills throwing underneath. That's David Johnson. Crosses midfield. Runs into a Titan defender there. And it's up to the 35. Well, now they are second and eight. Throw underneath to Cooks. He has five yards. Third and short. They're going to hand this off to David Johnson. He has enough for the first and is brought down at the 19-yard line. Five carries already for him here in the first quarter. Mills going to throw this quick out left. That's Brandon Cooks. Up to the nine-yard line, making it goal to go. First and goal to give to David Johnson on a counter. He's up to the four-yard line. Second and goal, a shotgun formation. Hand to Samuel. He's popped right at the line of scrimmage. Bringing up third and goal. What is Mills going to do here? He's moving right. Has an open man. He fires. It's broken up. Intended for Brevin Jordan. And they're going to have to settle for a field goal on their first scoring drive. So the Titans take over at their own 20. Daniel's going to throw this one left side. That is Hudson up to the 26. Second and four. Another throw for Tannehill. And this one's right to Hudson again. From the 32 on first and 10, Derrick Henry has his legs taken out from underneath of him. Pick up a four. Another throw underneath. That is A.J. Brown up to the 43-yard line. Finally giving the ball to Derrick Henry on a handoff. And he's met after a gain of just one. Second and nine. Empty set. And he'll throw in underneath. It's broken up. Oh, they got third and long. He's going to have to throw it, obviously. And he's looking down the field, but checks it down underneath the Henry. They get nothing. So they have to punt it back to the Texans. He would hand it off to David Johnson. He loses a couple. Seven carries, 24 yards. We're still in the first quarter. Hill's going to throw it on third and 12 down the middle of the field. It's a caught. That's Brandon Cooks up to the 39. It's a big gain. Keeping the drive alive. And then there's going to be a false start, on, unfortunately, on the offense. Now, first and 15, a play action fake. Throw right side. It sails, and it's intercepted right at midfield. Mills just missed him. He had Brevin Jordan wide open, but sailed it right over his head. So the Titans, another turnover. This time in better field position. A handoff to Derrick Henry. He runs over Murray there, and he's up to the 40. Ten seconds left in the first quarter. Hill throws it quick out left side. That's Hudson up to the 35. Second and five to start the second quarter. Daniel, another throw left side. That's caught. That's Julio Jones brought down at the 25. And off Derrick Henry. No, it's a play action fake throwing to the end zone and nearly intercepted, forced into double coverage. Should have been picked. The Titans drive stays alive, and they're going to check it down on second down. They get it third and five. Back to throw again. Daniel all day this time firing to the end zone, and this is nearly picked off. Jimmy Moreland had to cover two people, and 
Still almost came away with the interception. It's the Titans. They're going to settle for a field goal attempt, and this one's good. So we're tied up at three here in the second quarter. And Mills going to give the ball to David Johnson, left side, crossing the 30 and brought down by his ankles from behind. That's enough for the first. Mills on first and 10, floats it over the middle of the field. That's Brevin Jordan inside the 30 and finally brought down at the 22. A huge gain for the rookie tight end. Look at this floating throw. Just put it right where it needed to be, and Brevin Jordan does the rest. Finally getting tackled there. First and 10, a gift to David Johnson up the middle. Picking up five yards. Second down. Another throw for Mills. Moving right, throwing this to the end zone, and it's underthrown. That had to be to the back pylon, and it wasn't. Almost picked, but it's third and five. Another chance for Mills. He's moving right, throws it down the field, and it's out of reach for Brandon Cooks. So another Texans field goal, giving the Texans a 6-3 to three lead with under seven to go in the second quarter. Derrick Henry is going to get the first carry of the new Titans drive, picking up three. Second and seven. Another handoff to Henry. This time on the right side, he breaks a tackle, but it's brought down. There's a flag on the play. Going to be holding on the offense, moving him back. So second and 15. Anahill surveying the field, checks it down underneath. It's going to be a pickup of four after he's finally brought down. Now third and 11. Titans need a big play. And they got one. It's a wide open Derrick Henry on the left side across the 50 of the 40. And finally brought down by Lonnie Johnson at the 27. How do you let Derrick Henry get that wide open? Well, Moreland supposed to have the outside zone. He goes with Julio Jones, vacating where he's supposed to be. So, Titans at the 27. A handoff to the fullback. Picks up five yards. Second and five. Give to Henry on the left side. Gets outside. Breaks a tackle. But Kevin Pierre-Lewis cleans it up. Tackle him at the 14. Another give to Henry. And he's tackled by Ross Blacklock right at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. Derrick Henry going to get another carry. He stiff arms the guy, but it's brought down by Christian Kirksey. Now third and eight. Inhale. Looking around the field. Needs to throw it. Right side has an open man. He shoved out of bounds short of the first down marker. Fourth and two. They're going to kick another field goal. And we are tied at six here in Nashville in a field goal fest. Three minutes to go in the half. Mills play action fake. Looking right side. Amendola for the catch up to the 35. First and 10 for the Texans. Another give to David Johnson in just two. Bringing up second and eight. Mills is going to throw it. Looking all over the field, throwing left side, caught by Brandon Cooks. He has enough for the first down. From the 46, following the two-minute warning, David Johnson gets it on a screen pass, gets to the sideline, and is tackled out of bounds at the Titans' 43. Mills, no need to rush, but he's going to be sacked all the way back at the 48, and the Texans have to call a timeout. Second and 19. Mills moving right, throwing it away, and this drive just... Didn't go anywhere. Resulted in a punt. The Titans take over at their own 20. Throw to the left side. Gain of a couple. Minute 30 left. From their 26. Anahill throwing it right side. And a toe drag from A.J. Brown at the 41. Makes an excellent catch. Screen pass attempt on first and 10. Falls incomplete. Second and 10. Another throw from Tannehill. And this is broken up and nearly picked off. Another dropped interception for the Texans. The third and ten. Throw on the left side. That's Julio Jones with a toe drag this time. From the Texans, 45. And Hill surveying the field. Looking left side. He has an open man. That's Derrick Henry again. How do you let him get behind you twice? I just don't know what is happening with this coverage. Brown this time is the culprit getting burned by Derrick Henry. Now down seven. The Texans can get some points on the board. They still have two timeouts. They're firing it deep down the right side of the field. But right. ball's incomplete. Second and 10. Another straight drop back for Mills. Nobody's open. He's taken off and throws it away at the last second. Third and 10. This crowd is loud. Mills is going to throw it again. Over the middle. That's Brandon Cooks. Across the 40 to the 30. And I don't think anybody's going to catch him. He's going to go into the end zone. And we are tied at 13 pending an extra point but what a throw and what a catch in stride for Brandon Cooks been waiting all season for Brandon Cooks to get a deep ball we finally got one and he was able to show off the wheels 
42 seconds left in the half. They're on the right side, caught and tackled out of bounds. They're at the 37. Titans trying to put up some more points before the half. Throw over the middle, tackled at the 49. The Texans still have one timeout remaining. They're going to hand this off to Derrick Henry on the left side. He's tackled inbounds, so they have to use their last timeout. Just 20 seconds left in the first half. They're going to throw it underneath to Derrick Henry, and he doesn't go towards the sideline. He's going to be brought down inbounds. The Titans try to rush their field goal unit onto the field, but it doesn't pay off. So we're going to head into half. Tied at 13 in a pretty even game. All the stats, fairly similar. Colts and Bills are playing each other. Tied at 7. Mitchell Trubisky is still starting for the Bills. Hopefully Josh Allen doesn't have too serious of an injury. You can always check that out at a later date. And off to Derrick Henry to start the second half for the Titans. Another carry for him. Just two on that one. 10 carries, 41 yards. Been slowing him down on the ground, but through the air, Derrick Henry has been a problem as he gets another reception Enough for a first up to the 41. They get it first and 10. They're going to give it to him on the right side. He has a good blocking, and he's up across midfield. Breaks a tackle, stays in bounds. Down the sideline, spins off another tackle, and stays in bounds. It's getting into the end zone. How did he just do that? I don't know, but the Titans have taken the lead on a crazy touchdown from Henry. Runs through the first defender and stays in bounds off of this spin and read. Wow. On the ensuing kickoff, Roberts... Going to return this one up across the 35, down at the 37. Now down 13 to 20. See if the Texans' offense can start moving the ball and actually score touchdowns instead of settling for field goals. The carry for Samuels. He crosses midfield and it's up to the 40 of the Titans. Now second and 10. Give to David Johnson up in the middle. Wrapped up and taken out at the 32. 12 carries, 60 yards for him so far. And another carry on third down. Picks up just enough to keep the drive going. Play action fake. Looking around the field. Mills going to throw it right side. It's late, but caught by Cooks. Out of bounds at the 19. Second and inches. Play action fake. Mills, he's going to be popped back at the 28. Now third and 10. Empty set. Mills looking all over the field. Lobbing it to the left corner of the end zone. It's nearly intercepted. So the Texans are going to settle for a field goal on 4th and 10. Now 16 to 20. So the Titans up 4 points. Give it to Derrick Henry who just had that miraculous touchdown. Picks up 11. Just like that he's up over 100 yards rushing. Didn't look like he was doing much on the ground. He's starting to get going. 2nd and 8 from the 38. Throw on the right side. Derrick Henry with another catch. Out of bounds at the 45. Third and one, give to Derrick Henry. He gets on the outside. Oh, no. Is anybody going to catch him? Reed chases him down from behind. He's up to 151 rushing yards, and he just put the Titans inside the red zone. Now at the 19. Second and 12. Play action. No, it's a handoff to the backup. Brought down to the 10. Now third and two. Henry back in the game. Gets on the outside, but it gets his legs taken out from underneath him by King. First and goal from the three. It's blown up. That's Hill taking out everybody on the play. Second and goal. Toss out right side. Runs through the first defender, but cleaned up by Lonnie Johnson. Now third and goal. Tannehill over the middle. Touchdown, Titans. They take a two-score lead up 11 points. Mills needs to manufacture a touchdown drive. He's got to throw it down underneath to Brandon Cooks up to the 29. Second and four. Play action fake to Johnson. He's going to throw it to him anyway, but he overthrows him. They're going to have third and short. But they're going to throw it. Mills, moving right, has a couple open guys underneath, but he's going to take off anyway and fumble it out of bounds, but he has enough for the first. From the 36, a minute to go in the third quarter. Samuels, another good rush. Four carries, 33 yards for him. Second and inches, a counter to David Johnson. He gets some good blocking, crossing midfield. Into Titans territory. First and 10 from the 42. Another give to David Johnson. He gets outside. Inside the 30, the 20. And he's going to run through a Titans defender before getting tackled at the 13. He has over 100 yards of his own. First and 10 from the 13 in the start of the fourth quarter. It's a screen pass to Samuels. He's going to get tackled by a couple of Titans at the 5. Second and 2. 
Another throw for Mills. Looking around. He's going to be sacked all the way back at the 16. Another disastrous play for the Texans when they get down here in the red zone. Mills moving right, extending the play. He's going to take off and get shoved out just short of the first down marker. Bringing up fourth and inches. They're going to go for it. Down two scores. Hand off to the fullback, and he's met right at the line. They say he didn't get it. Turnover on downs. And now we have to try to stop Derrick Henry to get the ball back while down two scores. Eight minutes left here in the fourth. A handoff to Derrick Henry. He's across the 20, up down at the 24. 177 rushing yards. Another handoff to him. Why stop? It's working. He spins off of a tackle. Pick up a three. Second and seven. Straight drop back. Quick throw left side. That's Julio Jones out at 31. Third and three. Straight drop back pass, throw underneath Julio Jones again up to the 38. First and 10. Straight drop back again, thrown and, oh, this is nearly picked, but Desmond King loses the battle for the ball. Julio Jones just rips it from him. See, they're at the 43 of the Texans to give to Derrick Henry. And this man is just moving forward and forward up to 190 rushing yards. And another carry. Jukes, one guy, picks up eight more yards. Christian Kirksey goes down. Hopefully he's okay. Second and two from the 24. It's a toss to Derrick Henry. But Kevin Pierre Lewis can't bring him down. Luckily, Murray cleans it up at the 18. Five minutes, 40 seconds to go. Throw left side. This is intercepted by Jimmy Moreland, his second of the game. And the Texans have a chance again. Why are you even throwing the ball is my question. When Derrick Henry just started running all over this defense, they tried a pick route, but it didn't really work. Jimmy Moreland jumps that route. Second of the game and third of the season. Play action fake for Mills. And he's going to be forced to throw this one away. With just five minutes, 28 seconds to go. It's a third and 10. They need some yards. It's a throw to Danny Amadola. He doesn't have enough for the first. Fourth and inches. They got to go for it. Going to give it to David Johnson. He picks up enough for the first. Up to the 31. Four minutes, 38 seconds to go. Play action fake throw. Left side caught by Nico Collins. He breaks a tackle and is spun down at the 37 of the Titans. Texans trying to move it quickly. Another throw for Mills. He's moving right. Nobody's open. He's going to take off, pick up a couple yards up to the 32. Second and five. Another throw. Underneath, that's Samuels. And he's brought down by a couple of Titans at the 22. Up over 300 yards passing now. Screen pass right side. That's Conley. A great block from Brandon Cooks and a second block from him as Conley's down at the six-yard line. First and goal to go. Can they score a touchdown? Mills throwing underneath. That's Nico Collins. He's into the end zone, and we have ourselves a one-score game here again. But the Texans, well, they're going to go for two, trying to make this just a three-point game. Mills going to dump it off left side. That is David Johnson. He fights his way into the end zone for the two-point conversion. So now, handoff to Derrick Henry. The Texans need a stop to get the ball back. With just three minutes to go, they have two timeouts. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. A handoff to Derrick Henry. He's bunched up, brought down to 37. They call their second timeout. Derrick Henry, all alone in the backfield, gets the ball on the left side. He has a wide open hole. He's across midfield, across the 40, the 30. And he's finally brought down by King at the 20 with just two minutes to go. And Muse had his chance at him in the hole, but just ran past him. Don't know what that was. Hand off to Henry again as they try to wind some clock. Brought down at the 17, up to 268 yards. Second and seven, another give to Henry. Brought down at the 17, they used their last time out. Bring up third and seven. They're going to throw the ball right side, and this is caught by A.J. Brown at the 13. Block winding. They're going to go for the kill shot here on fourth down. They give to Derrick Henry. He has enough for the first. And the Titans are going to win 27 24. Let's get right into the stats. Ryan Tannehill, he was all right. We could have picked him off a couple more times. He only threw two. The real story is Derrick Henry. His 275 rushing yards tie him for fifth most all time in a single game. I mean, he was just unstoppable in that second half. And receiving wise 127 and a touchdown there we cannot let that happen Derrick Henry uh, through the air at least you got to stop him there Davis Mills he was okay but those two turnovers were pretty costly at least he got over 300 passing yards in a game 
And we had a 100-yard rusher of our own. David Johnson, 106 on the ground. But I think the bit most important thing was Brandon Cooks finally getting a deep ball, kind of having a little breakout game, 136 yards and a touchdown. Also nice to see Jimmy Moreland getting two interceptions. I expect nothing less, though, of him. He's been pretty good this year. Jalen Samuels getting an upgrade. Try to go elusive back in. He gets a pretty good boost here. Speed and change of direction and a couple others. But we have another chance to have a breakout scenario for Jimmy Moreland. He's already up to star because he succeeded on his first one. Let's see if we can get him to superstar next game. Hopefully we can accomplish any of those goals for him. We're also going to be getting back. Marcus Cannon play right tackle, so we don't need Andre Smith anymore. We can cut him. He was just our backup anyway. So we have an open spot. Let's go get Carrion Johnson. He's a well-rounded back that is only 24 years old. We're going to sign him for at least the rest of the year and see what he has as at least a depth piece. Kevin King, an upgrade to his zone coverage, plus two there. Hopefully that helps him play the deep ball a little better. Kenny Robinson also goes zone. Definitely need at least our backups to play when they're in, play better. Garrett Wallow, a rookie out of TCU. He got in the game a little bit. Get some block shed and tackle pursuit. We need to stop the run better. Jimmy Moreland get an upgrade even before his second breakout scenario chance. Two to his zone, two to his play rec. Let's get into scouting. Donovan Vickers, a running back out of LSU. Six foot, 220 pounds. I mean, third or fourth round projection. We just need a better running back like a true bell cow that can get the majority of our carries at least at the start of a game and somebody younger too we have a bunch of these older veteran running backs and i like some of the ratings we see here but we don't know enough about him yet so still hold out hope that he ends up becoming a beast and we could take him in the mid rounds eric hauser he's a first or second round projected guy at 6'2, 201 out of oklahoma state i like his physicals and his skill set well we know all three of his route runnings b medium we have A short and C deep. He could be a pretty good receiver, but we still don't know what his hands are like. At least he's a decent route runner. Moving on to offensive line, Greg Quigley, a day three projected guy, has solid to good strength and nothing that's really a red flag there. But look at this pass blocking. A pass block, B pass block finesse, and B pass block power. Could be a steal on a day three. Play left guard for you. Now, defensively, we're going to talk all three of these guys play the same position, and I don't know which one of them is actually the best one. Julius Swift, they're all day three projections. Julius Swift, decent physicals, skill set, A power move, C block shed, B stamp, D tackle, not the best tackler. They're all 23. Miles Franklin out of NC State, 6'4", 273. They all have similar player notes. I mean, its physicals are okay as well. Skill set. A hit power, B impact block, B power move, C play rec. He might be a little more well-rounded than Julius Swift was. What about D'Angelo McKinney, though? 6'3", 289 out of Tennessee. Similar player notes, very good physicals, except for jumping, which doesn't really matter. And that is attribute-wise. I mean, B power move, B play rec, B tackle, and C awareness. All seem pretty good to me. So tell me about all the guys we just looked at and which ones you like which ones you don't like and we're now we're just looking through a couple of the teams draft picks that we have the bears and giants bears win giants lose the next week's opponent well the jets they've won their last two zach wilson the rookie out of byu was 22 to 31 one touchdown one pick latavius murray i mean they don't have derrick henry but latavius murray could do some damage on the ground hopefully not hopefully we can slow him down they have a bunch of receivers that are going to throw at us that all offer different things. Corey Davis, Keenan Cole here, Tyler Eifert, and Jay Crowder and more. Hopefully we can beat them. Bounce back after that loss against the Titans. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.